Hey, welcome back to another Black City Coffee Vlog. In this Coffee Break series, um, I wanted to put down some ideas. I just got off uh, a call with my designer. Um, hour some conversation long. Um, I wanted to say that all the fear that I was feeling before, yesterday, just yesterday, is gone now. Like, I'm so excited to begin. I really felt like he understood me. Um, he really listened to what I was saying and um, a lot of my thoughts were very jumbled and um, he was able to help direct them and um, I'm so excited for what he's gonna create in this first like run of things and it's basically gonna take about a month process depending on how fast I can provide the uh, most guiding feedback and land on something amazing and, and something that uh, really represents what I want Black City to represent. <laughs> um, and it goes so deep than just, I don't know what it looks like, you know? There's there's so many layers and um, I'm so glad that, that I found somebody like this and, and he was recommended to me by Jared from Asaya, so pretty awesome. Um, yeah, uh, that's pretty amazing. I had all this fear of letting go, fear of like, is it going to be good or what if I don't like it? I, I'm 100% confident at this point without even seeing anything, but just um, through our conversation and the energy between us um, that I'm going to love it. <laughs> uh, so all those, all those fears that I was feeling is gone now. It's now replaced with pure excitement. It's really making me look at coffee in another way and that's what I was expecting too. I was like, I really need somebody to help me like just uh, guide me a little bit and, and to help ask the right questions for me to um, answer it. Because I, I know I have it in me to do this. And a lot of times I'll feel that. And then a lot of times I'll feel, I don't know anything. I don't know if I really want to be here. Um, I don't know if this is smart. I feel like I am, but conversations like this really affirms to me that I'm in the right space. Um, even though sometimes I'll say it like, I'll say it like that, like, oh, I feel like I'm in the right space. And then some days I'll be like, am I in the right space? Is this gonna go anywhere? Is this where I need to be? You know, I'll, I'll feel uh, self-doubt come in um, all the time. All the time I'll feel it come. And other times I'll feel very confident. I'm like, let's go. <laughs> um, and, and yeah, that's that's how it is, I think, to uh, create something from scratch, you know, and to have, not have it be your only focus. I think that's a different kind of perspective too, where like say I had nothing else to do, right? Say I, my back was against the wall and I had I had to make coffee work. Like you're gonna make it work when your back's against the wall. Typically, you're gonna make it work um, because you're just gonna keep putting all your energy into it. In my situation, I don't have to put all my energy into it. I, I'm not on any timeline. I'm only on the timeline that is afforded to me by time. You know, like something could happen to me tomorrow and that would suck, but, um, but I don't have any like real deadlines or anything like that. Um, so you have to, in a way, create your own urgency um, when you're creating a startup or when, you, when it's not the last, the last hand you've been dealt. You know, I have many hands dealt. You know, I have that luxury of, of time. As long as nothing happens to me or um, my husband or something, you know, knock on wood, we're healthy, we're pretty healthy. Um, I'm not going to do any more extreme sports. <laughs> so, um, yeah, creating this urgency um, and focus. I have to manufacture inspiration. I have to manufacture drive. Um, and I have to manufacture uh, this, this passion, right? Which the coffee... I get a lot of help from there because the coffee is excellent and I just have to guide it to where it is and share it with you guys. So, um, yeah, 
I just want to put that on camera. That was so cool. I was so hyped. I felt like um, we're really going in the right direction. Once again, I feel like the jacket fits. Um, like it's not too big for me right now. <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of big, but it's, I'm not swimming in it. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm growing into this very, very form-fitted jacket, this custom-made thing. And I'm honored uh, to work with somebody like this who's so um, meticulous and who brings in so much history and soul, I think, and, and love. I, th I feel that coming through their work. And I think when two creators work together like that, you know, I, I feel like I put a lot of, I put me into my coffee and into my videos and everything that I create. I really try to, it's a, it's a reflection of me. Um, and I feel that when I find people um, like my designer to work with, it, it's that much more inspiring. I'm that much more inspired to um, get to the roaster and see what else I could do, see how I could nail it, um, become more of a master, you know? Um, yeah, anyway. I'm, a, I'm elated. I'm elated. I'm just very happy. And I, uh, I feel like just with that conversation alone, so much has been um, done, even though nothing really has been done. <laughs> but I think the intention, you know, that's, that's the power of intention. And when you start your day off with a very good cup of coffee that you served yourself, that you, that you, um, you know, maybe you're somebody like me who, who didn't maybe serve themselves the best cup of coffee or you thought you were, but you really weren't conscious about it and you're really putting your energy somewhere else. And that's fine. That's okay. Cause like, I think everything has its own time to, um, to shine. You know what I mean? Like the way that I brewed coffee a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, um, it was all different. And it's all what I thought was good enough. Um, good enough for me then. And now I'm doing the same thing, like this, what somebody would call fancy, you know, right here. Um, it's good enough for me now. And the only thing that ha le is left to improve, I can always improve the tools, that's, that's fine. But I always have to improve this tool, which is my own knowledge, um, my own intuition. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm, I'm just, this, I guess this is what happy is. <laughs> uh, this feeling of like, excited, um, kind of electric, electrifying. I feel like I'm tired. I'm very, physically, I'm very tired. I did a lot of physical stuff this morning. Um, I didn't sleep that great. I didn't get a really good restful sleep. It was okay. But I am like excited and happy and filled with a lot of joy and um this feeling of like oh it's gonna be it's gonna be good yeah things are gonna turn on all right I don't know what it's gonna be but this feeling of um it's gonna be okay and we have very good coffee to help us along <laughs> but um I was I also feel kind of like a uh, sigh of relief because I didn't know what to expect coming into the meeting too. So um, I'm so happy that I, I loved him, you know, I loved speaking with him. <clears throat> and uh, that's also a relief. So that feels like I'm a little like, oh, a little anxiety has left me. So that's great. Um, okay. Cause you know, when you invest in something, it's like, oh man, it's an investment. Is this a risk or is it an investment? <laughs> Anywho, uh, I have in front of me right here, you can't see, it's off camera. Roasted on September 13th, I'm developing a nice little four ounce um, exclusive run, limited run. Um, we'll probably reproduce it again later if it's, if it's a hit, I don't know. Um, we're gonna call it um, Golden Hour, named by my husband. He named this coffee, I designed it. 
uh, the label anyway. Uh, we have an exclusive blend for the launch of our new uh, website and our other business. And um, I've been creating this blend and I've been thinking about it for a long time and I was like, you know what? What am I gonna do? Am I gonna do something like super artsy or whatever? And I landed on something crowd-pleasing. Um, it's a blend of Brazil and Vietnam, very similar to um, our espresso blend, but not roasted that dark. Um, it's a medium roast. I think it's a crowd pleaser. I think a lot of our, the, the customers who would potentially drink this coffee are creating white coffee drinks. So white coffee meaning we're adding cream, we're adding sugar, we're adding milk, things like that. We're, um, we're drinking coffee like that. So not a lot of black coffee drinkers. So I think, and it's fine black, you know, you'll still get a little, uh, some slight subtle fruit in there um, from the Brazil, from that natural sweetness and then that really nice rich chocolatey body from the Vietnam. Um, and yeah, I just went with a solid medium roast crowd pleaser. Um, still very, very good coffee, excellent coffee. Um, and yeah, we have a couple of bags here. I think I, I think I have like 16, maybe 15 bags here, and we're gonna launch that, I believe it's next week on the 27th, but um, yeah, that's happening on our other our other business, but that's super exciting. I've been wanting to create a KOV photography coffee blend. I was like, you know what? Our business, our other business is an established you know, wedding photography company, and I feel like we haven't done anything outside of that. And that's because we've been so focused on really nailing down the systems of our business and really kind of concerned about other things that you're not concerned about. And so creating a coffee blend for um, for this company was so cool. And it's, it, and it's not like I just have, <laughs> I just have a, like it was a, like a shoe in, I mean, kind of, but I think I had to really still prove myself as a coffee roaster. Like Kevin wasn't gonna say yes to anything. Uh, my husband is very meticulous. The design has to be on point. It has to match. It has to stand up to his 10 plus years brand, you know, uh, or his company. And so to make something that he was okay, to, that he said yes to, that he approved, you know, I think that was a little like, yay, a win for me as a roaster. Um, um, confident enough that, you know, <laughs> we can, we can create a, uh, an ex and a blend for, for KLB photography and, and then, you know, maybe see where that leads to or something. But, um, it's a big deal over there. Uh, we're launching this new website. I am, I am heading that, uh, change and, um, heading all of that stuff. So it's a little bit of crunch time over there. Um, but I'm finding, uh, a lot more time to shoot videos now that I've created a much better set for me to feel um, comfortable in and that I could speak to, uh, speak in this set. I feel a lot better this way where I'm not looking at random people like coming in and I could see people. I, I want to feel very enclosed in this set so that I could have nice conversations with you guys. Um, so if you didn't know, um, a part of our proceeds are donated to Grounds for Health, and it's a charity for women uh, battling cervical cancer. So what they do is this organization is set up in some Latin American countries and in Africa, some co African countries uh, of women who process coffee. And these women often don't have any access to um, health services, they're often up in the mountains, it's really hard to get access or education or it's socially stigmatized. Um, and so this program goes out to these women who process the coffee, picking cherries, um, processing them, washing them, maybe putting them on dry beds, whatever it is, sorting, um, all that stuff. And um, get them the education that they need, actually get them screened for cervical cancer, which is a totally curable disease if you catch it. Um, and uh, I'm part of this sort of campaign that's going on right now, Women Choosing Women. And there's me, there's a bunch of other um, people in the coffee industry who have donated and are part of this movement. And if you would like to learn more about Grounds for Health, I will link it in the description. I will link up the campaign that's going on right now called Women Choosing Women. Um, you'll see my name there. You may see some other cool names on there as well. And if you're interested, 
Um, um, and if you're a woman in coffee, or if you're just a woman and you're interested in donating or helping their cause, um, you can definitely do that too. You don't need to be, I don't believe you need to be a coffee company or anything. I don't know if we can call ourselves that. <laughs> I have a coffee roaster. Um, you just, you just need to want to help and, uh, and uh, put some money behind that <laughs> to to help them in their cause and i think it's totally doable to be able to eradicate cervical cancer with the uh, the help of uh, programs like grounds for health um, so that more and more women who are processing these coffees which is, is a lot of them a lot of them in these farms um get access get educated and get cured and treated if if they need it okay so good things. Thanks for hanging out for me with this um, coffee break. I think that was a really nice coffee break. Um, in my cup right now is Ecuador, um, light roasted. It's got that really nice wine body, uh, a wine-like uh, attribute, nice, nice round body. And a um, little sad fact is that my other cup, I'm going to show you. Okay, so I don't mean to end on a little like somber note, <laughs> but I was cleaning this, hand washing it like they recommended, and it slipped out of my hands, and it cracked. It cracked. I don't know if it could focus on it. It's looking for my face. Yeah, you can see it right there. Um, less than two weeks I had this thing. Um, yeah, if you have small hands, I don't recommend this mug. Um, it's slippery. It's beautiful, but it's slippery. And if you have small hands, it's really hard to like get a grip on it, especially you got soap on it and stuff. So this one's a little better just cause it's like a column, right? But this one gets really fat in the bottom and I lost control of it. And I was trying to be careful. It's not like I was being mindless, but it was just, it just slipped. <sighs> So beautiful, but not the f most functional. And I really believe like my mug, ah, my mug is the best for me, you know? Um, or a mug like this is the best for me. So I'm still, this is kind of like my daily driver. When I have coffee breaks with you guys, because this is always upstairs in my office, when I have coffee breaks with you guys, I go for the, the pretty one, right? <laughs> We go for the model on the uh, on the shoot days, but at home, up there, so much control here. If I want to do air press, it's good, solid, cylindrical body. You know, um, th these are the things we coffee nerds think about. Like, what is our perfect mug? And I feel like this is still this is still a winner. If I were to design this mug myself, like make this ceramic mug from scratch, I would simply make this hole a little smaller just so that like this would be a perfect, a perfect fit for me, my small little hands. Like, wouldn't that be so cool to have a custom mug like fitted to your hands? Like imagine your hands, they're shaped a really, really unique way, right? The, the, your hands, they bend a certain way. Maybe your knuckles are a certain way. Maybe you have longer fingers, maybe you have shorter fingers, maybe you have like uh, sausages or you have like bones. <laughs> And like, you want a, a mug to be able to fit those crevasses, right? And that would be so cool. And um, that's on my list is to go and make something by hand custom for myself, just because I do this every day, right? I, and why not make it custom and form fitted to yourself? It's like, you know, wearing clothes. Your coffee mug might as well be like your hat or your clothes because you always have it on. You're always wearing it, so to speak. All right. So I'm getting hyped up just talking to you and drinking this, this really good coffee. And what I really need to do is a little bit of rehab work. I gotta do some self care. I gotta take care of the neck, the body's still recovering, right? But good things. And thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm super hyped up as you can tell. And we gotta calm it back down. Okay. Good things, we'll see you next time. Bye.